Hey friends, I got into the lab this morning and was just busy working around when I noticed that one of my spiders was extremely busy over in the corner of her cage. Uh, she was happily assembling a egg sac. So I quickly got a video made of that. And that's what I'll be showing you here. So first let me just say a little bit about um, how I do this stuff. So what you see here is my camera setup. That's a, just a nice little Canon camera on a tripod with uh, the Tokina ATX macro lens attached and a couple of uh, tube extenders so we get a little more magnification. And uh, I'm using an LED panel to light everything up. And most interestingly, most importantly, is there's that cardboard frame. I know it looks cheap. What it is is I just get a, a bunch of mini cans at the store in a handy dandy box which is just the right size to fit into our cages and I cut out the sides so we've just got the frame sitting there. Put that in the cage, put the spider in there and the spider will happily make webbing all over the place for it. The nice thing about that is I can do as I'm doing here and I can just lift this cardboard frame out of the cage and put it anywhere I want in any orientation I want. The spiders don't seem to mind at all. They kind of just go along with whatever way you put them down. Uh, but the thing is they've built this elaborate cobweb in there and that's their home. So they're never going to leave it. I don't even need the cages I don't think except that it's convenient for holding them. Uh, you put this out and they will just sit happily in their webbing for hours on end and not go anywhere. So it's convenient because then I can just set that frame out, aim the camera where I need to, and start taking pictures. Okay, so let me just orient you to what you're going to see. So first of all, this is Trillian. She is Steatota triangulosa. She's a nice healthy specimen. You can just see with the, the pattern of diamonds or zigzags on her back. It's very distinctive. And what she's going to what she has done, what she did before I got into the lab, was she laid a clutch of eggs, which is the yellowish region you see in the middle there. And uh, when I caught her, what she was busy doing was take, taking those eggs and laying down a thick egg sac around it. So it's just all these fluffy silk fibers teased and wrapped around the egg sac to protect it. And uh, so that's that's where I'm picking up is, here she is. She's going to be filling in this egg sac. Oh, and by the way, there's also some dead flies in there. Uh, she's building this very near to where she roosts in the, in the cage. And uh, that's where she keeps all her, her prey, just sort of lying there. Okay, so let me start the action here. Uh, this might be a little bit tedious for you who are not big fans of spiders. I'm just going to let it run for a while. And what you'll see is she will wander around her egg sac, her collection of eggs, and she'll spin out an egg sac by... Um, touching her the tip of her abdomen where the spinnerets are to the egg sac and then pulling away. And you'll occasionally see little strands of silk coming out of her bottom as she does this. And it's just going to go on and on. She did this repeatedly for, oh, an hour or so. I won't have a recording that long. Don't worry. Anyway, here we go. Watch Trillion in action.
Okay, I'm just going to jump ahead about 20 minutes. You won't see much change, but she is industrious. She just kept pounding away at this for about an hour until she'd completed that elaborate yolk sack. All right, I'll stop here. I think I think my audience has had enough. I could watch this stuff all day, but uh, you've probably seen enough to know what they're up to. Talk to you all later.